Hello and welcome to another Carfix video from Carfix where I do what I love and I love what I do. Today's video is going to be about code P2261 on a 2013 Hyundai Velocity with a 1.6 turbocharged engine. Now this code is for the uh, turbo bypass valve or the RCV valve recirculation valve. Now the function of this valve basically is to, to take the uh, uh, the, the the boost pressure inside the uh, the turbocharger and um, redirect it to the air snorkel right here. Now only during during uh, deceleration. So when this uh, throttle body is closed, if you have high boost inside the intercooler, and this valve is closed, uh, uh, the pressure will actually feed back to the turbocharger impeller and make an impact noise. So uh, the function of this valve basically is to redirect the 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 boost the pressure boost inside the uh, the intercooler back into the air snorkel right here uh, now the, the valve is actually uh, part mechanical uh, uh, part electronic uh, this this valve right here basically it's a vacuum switching valve or VSV uh, it's got three vacuum hoses going to it and an engine vacuum feed right here on this hose coming from the intake manifold and you have the uh, uh, the bleed valve right here or the bleed hose and this port right here uh, controls the the mechanical valve inside the intercooler which is it's inside right there that's the valve right there it's located on top of the intercooler so during deceleration uh, the computer will uh, energize this uh, uh, solenoid right here and uh, allow engine vacuum to go through the solenoid all the way to the valve right here this will open the valve and uh, redirect the boost pressure back into the air snorkel through this hose right here. So uh, I'm going to do a few tests on this one. The first test will be a resistance resistance test uh, on the solenoid itself and power test right here on that red wire. And uh, I'm going to feed vacuum uh, to the uh, to the to this port right here, to this hose right here. This hose right here goes all the way to the valve. So this will I, th this test will test the the actual operation of the mechanical valve inside the intercooler. Okay, the first test is going to be uh, checking power going to the solenoid from the main engine relay. I got my tester hooked up to the red wire right there. This is my tester right there, and the ignition uh, key is off. Now I'm going to turn the key on and see what happens. All right, now I got the key on. As you can see, it's reading 12 volts right there. If you can see it or not, but it says 12 volts on it. Uh, now I'm gonna wait for the uh, main engine relay to shut down and see if it goes out. Uh, let me shut the key off. There you go. So uh, the power from the uh, from the ECM. Uh, to the, to the uh, uh, RCV as uh, valve solenoid is okay. Now the next test will be uh, the internal resistance on the solenoid itself. Uh, now the specs for this is uh, 29.7, uh, give or take 1.4 ohms. So um, it could be uh, 31.1 or 27.7. Now the, re the tester reads uh, 30 ohms, which is uh, which is within specs, so uh, the, the the internal resistance of the solenoid is okay, uh, but this does not mean that the solenoid is actually working. Right now I got the uh, I got the solenoid uh, rigged right here uh, with my power probe. Uh, you know, one lead is power, the other one is ground, and it's reading ground because it's actually feeding ground through the the solenoid right there. There's my tester right there. And also I have my vacuum pump, which is right here, to the uh, the engine vacuum port right there. And, uh, and I have a vacuum pump right here. Now when I when I pump it, it should hold vacuum. Now it's holding vacuum, about 22. Now if I energize the, uh, the solenoid with the power probe, the vacuum should bleed. Let's see. That's power. See if the vacuum is lead or not, and it's still reading vacuum. That means the solenoid is not is not actually working. And, and also, uh, uh, you're supposed to hear a click uh, when the uh, when you activate the solenoid. So far, the solenoid is is bad. 
Uh, one more thing, if the, the valve is stuck, if this is stuck open, it can actually create low boost inside the turbocharger. So it can go both ways. Uh, uh, you know, um, uh, create high boost or uh, not recirculate the uh, the high pressure inside the turbocharger, and also if the valve is stuck open due to the uh, this solenoid right here um, staying on all the time or uh, sticking uh, in the uh, or stuck in the open position, it will actually can create uh, low boost pressure. All right, now this test is uh, to check the operation of the actual valve by feeding vacuum to it. Now uh, the valve is is closed. Uh, now this is the hose that circulate the uh, the pressure back into the uh, the, the snorkel. Now this, uh, if I blow air through this, uh, should shouldn't be able to because it should be blocked by the valve. Now once I feed vacuum to it with my my vacuum pump, uh, the valve should open and I should be able to blow um, air through it easily. And I already did that, and the valve is actually working. Uh, it reacts to the uh, the vacuum, you know, opens up with the vacuum and closes with when once I bleed the vacuum uh, from it. So uh, so far, uh, this solenoid right here uh, is bad and it has to be replaced. All right, now I got the uh, uh, the RCV valve uh, out of the uh, the car, and as you can see, it's it's cracked up, it's rusted, and uh, it's not good. Uh, the, unlike the new one. Now this is the new one right here, comes with hoses. Unlike the new one, it comes with uh, vacuum hoses. I mean, it's hard to find this solenoid aftermarket, so yeah, you're gonna have to get it from the dealer. And this is how it comes from the dealer, with all the hoses. All right guys, now I got, I test drove the car and check engine light actually went out, went out on its own. And the history stat, I mean the uh, the code status changed from a uh, current code to a history code. Now uh, history codes will not trigger check engine light, but they will stay there for uh, some time, uh, just in case if the uh, the issue uh, came back, it will trigger check engine light. But uh, if the if the issue was fixed, and it is fixed, uh, it will stay there for about uh, maybe uh, 40 ignition cycles and uh, will be cleared from the uh, history memory. Uh, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, any comment, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, from now on to the next car fix video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.